Um, can we give a big thanks, Shay Shay, to Benny for all of his help and support in Shanghai? Shay Shay. Um, secondly, <laughs> Linda, we have a, uh, a special plate for you, which is a, a pottery plate from Stoke on Trent, from where we're from. And it says, uh, Thank you for supporting Challenge China 2015. Really so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, a really big heartfelt thank you on behalf of all the group for being our tour guide, friend, mother <laughs> for the entire time in Beijing and Shanghai. Please give Linda a massive thank you. Well done. And if both of you could join us in a, a group oh, yeah, photo, yeah. that'd be fantastic. Has he got the engines? No. no. Well, uh, we're leaving Shanghai. Yeah. Yes, we have decided to come to Pizza Hut to compare the pizzas. Yeah. See if they, they make them as good as I do. <laughs> We're leaving Beijing now. We're off home. Yay! Ooh. Back to boring Britain. Oh, the last plane home. The last plane today for our trip. About a 10 hour flight. Of course, on the last day of our intrepid holiday. And we are all a mixture of happy because we haven't got that regimental routine thing going on and sad because we'll probably never be here again. Bye! Bye. <laughs> you can actually add my like, Challenge China logs to the film. Yeah. Right, because well, I don't think yeah. I've... No, 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 no. You're not having any chewing gum now. Yeah, now you're nice to me, aren't you? He's nice. <laughs> Oh, a wall! Oh! <laughs> this is a different plane. Why? This is a Boeing 777. Yeah, it says there, Boeing 777. Oh, so you're right, yeah. And I just noticed that that plane up there is also a Boeing 777. That one too. And that the seating arrangement is different. Now the overhead lockers are different. So yeah, it's Boeing 777. Why don't you like Boeing? I don't like Boeing's. They're not as safe. That's reassuring. <laughs> yeah. Is it on? Hi guys, this is Toby speaking. I'm glad you've watched all the uh, Challenge China videos, and if you haven't, you need to watch them all. But anyway, if you haven't, that's absolutely fine. You can stay and listen to this vlog, as I'm going to give you five reasons to why you should consider in joining Challenge China. Reason number five. You get the sweet uniform, which you have your flag at the front and the year that you're going to China, with your name at the back and a number. It can either be a name or it can be a nickname. But knowing about why I'm called Toby Baby is something you'll never know. Reason number four. The attractions. 
China is a big place that has full of attractions. The attractions we met in China were the Great Wall of China, Forbidden City, Shanghai, Buddha Temple, and many other attractions that we went to see. All in all, the attractions there were amazing. Reason number three, understanding the culture. In China, there is a population of 1.4 billion people. That's a lot of people. One obvious thing we know about the culture of China is that they never tend to eat with forks, like us British people and all other people. They tend to eat with chopsticks. I'm quite fond of. And did you know in China as well that they find hugs are the most awkwardest thing ever? I didn't know that one. Yeah. Learn something every day. Reason number two, making friends. On the program, you'll be making new friends. You'll be experiencing China together. You'll be going all over the place, team building together, understand each other, as well as make friends for life or to know. Last but not least, reason number one, the experience. The experience in China is something you want to do. To enjoy the experience of China, you have to see it for yourself, as well as with your new friends that you'll make. The whole experience will blow your mind, your curiosity, and your thoughts. The whole program with the experience was absolutely great. As soon as you got there, you'll be doing something. You would be off to go see a theatre. The next morning, you'll be going walking on the Great Wall of China, and then go followed on by any other activity. And you'll also go drink tea, like the Chinese do. That, for me, is something I like. I like tea. And the way that China drank their tea is pretty interesting. It is not the case of us Brits where we put milk in our tea and take the tea bag out and everything. They have it all like... Fruity. Now, I suppose, really, you're wondering, how do I apply to Challenge China? First off, you need to be a student at Stoker Train College or Sixth Form on any of the courses. You need to be under the age of 19, and it really doesn't matter what course you're on. I'm a level 3 TV and film student. You'll need to fill in an application form. The application form is not that bad. Go through it carefully. It will ask you a question of why you want to go to China, which is an obvious one. Once you've filled the application out and you've sent it off, you'll then have an interview. Once you've done the interview, you'll either receive a letter saying you're accepted. Never fear if you don't get accepted. It's the trying that counts. I hope this video vlog has helped you consider in joining the Challenge China program. It has been a pleasure for me to go on the first year, and I hope for the very best for you. This is Toby Lowndes, signing out.